guys and welcome back to a new video this is the ckg channel with kobe green how are y'all doing i haven't made a ww video i got to look versus kong video any video in a while about three or four days and i'm getting back on track starting today uh i just kind of got lost didn't know what to record but we're back better than ever and i'm gonna be coming at you with the Elimination Chamber reviews. Review. Never mind. Sorry. Review. But I'm going to be telling you guys what I think about it. You know, you got the first match was the Morrison match with Morrison, uh, Ricochet, Mustafa Ali, and Elias. Yeah. Um, uh, you got all them four fighting for to fight in against Bobby Lashley and Riddle for the United States title because Keith Lee got hurt somehow. I don't know how, but he was out of the match. So, anyway, John Morrison won that match, and to be honest, I didn't really pay much attention to it. But John Morrison won that match and moved on. And I I predicted that he would. So let's go to the pay per view. This is the first Elimination Chamber match which I figured that started off with. Um You had uh the Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Joe So, King Corbin, Sami Zayn and why do I always forget the last one? Daniel Bryan. You had all those guys fighting to fight Roman Reigns. And it was really good. It was like a really good elimination chamber. Um, you know, I really was surprised by Kevin Owens getting eliminated. That was like you got Kevin Owens getting eliminated, and then Jey Uso getting eliminated, and Daniel Bryan won. Plus Cesaro. My two picks was Cesaro, uh, Kevin Owens. And if it wasn't that, it was going to be Jey Uso. But Daniel Bryan won. And, you know, I thought that was good because it was unpredictable. But what happened after was Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan and... It happened like everybody would expect. Roman Reigns just destroyed him. Because it was right after the match. I figured, I thought that it would be right after. Like later on in the match. Like later on in the pay-per-view. But it was right after the match. And I think Daniel Bryan will get a rematch at Fastlane. Maybe. Or on Smackdown. I doubt on Smackdown. Probably at Fastlane. So look for that. But. Edge came out after the match and speared Roman and pointed at the WrestleMania sign. So we got Roman Reigns versus Edge confirmed for WrestleMania. That's pretty good. I like that. But tell me guys what you think about that. And I'm going to be talking about the next match, which I forgot already. What was the last I, I don't even know. Hmm. So you got maybe it was Bobby Lashley and them. I was thinking it was uh Nia Jackson. It might have been. I'm just gonna go with that. Nia Jackson, Sean Baszler, and Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. I didn't pay attention because I don't care that rhymed. But I, you know, you have these two non-tag team. You have this non-tag team here. Both of them is honestly not official tag teams. Nia Jax and Shauna Baszler have just been a tag team for a while. I think they need to break up. It's kind of getting old. And we need some more real tag team. You know, I just don't see why we're going with this. If you like them, you like them. But 
I, I like Shauna Baszler. Nia Jax, not so much. And I think Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair are a fight at WrestleMania, so that won't matter anyway. But anyway, moving on to the United States Championship match. Also, they canceled the Oscar versus Lacey Evans because Lacey Evans was pregnant. I don't know why they didn't find her a new part, a uh, new partner to fight, but it's just whatever. So then you got um, Lace. Oh my God, bro! The United States Championship match, bro. I suck at talk. Uh, you got the United States Championship match: Bobby Lashley, Matt Riddle, and John Morrison. And it was freaking good. It was pretty good. Uh, Matt Riddle winning was a great moment for him. And it's pretty good. I feel like the WrestleMania match is going to be Matt Riddle versus Keith Lee. That's what they're building up to. And Bobby Lashley's moving on. And I'll talk about that later. Um, we're getting into the Elimination Chamber match. This was an amazing match. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. Okay. With Sheamus, Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, Kofi Kingston, and Drew McIntyre. Yeah. It was really good. You know. You had all of WWE Champions in there. And they put it all out on the line. And this was really good. Drew McIntyre came in at number three and went all the way. This is going to be the end right here for spoilers. Sheamus bro kicked Drew McIntyre. Then AJ Styles came out of nowhere with a phenomenal forearm and hit Sheamus. One, two, three. Now it's just AJ Styles and Drew McIntyre. This all happened really quick. Okay, now it's AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre in the final. And AJ Styles about to final form Drew McIntyre. Well, he gets him up, jumps off the ropes, and Drew McIntyre Claymore kicks him out of the air, bro. That, that was amazing. Made it, no matter if it looked like it hit hard or not, it was great. It was a great spot. Uh, I loved it. And then, Drew McIntyre pinned AJ Styles 1, 2, 3, which surprised me that Drew McIntyre won because I that was in the back of my mind that Drew McIntyre would win or retain. Um, you had Bobby Lashley come out after the match and beat the freak out of Drew McIntyre. Beating him all over the ring and then taking him inside the ring and using this finisher move on it. So, now it was, I didn't think about it before, but now The Miz came out. I was thinking The Miz is going to cash in at WrestleMania, but clearly not. Miz came in, cashed in, you probably already know, won the title. Uh, Drew McIntyre tried to fight back. He kicked out of the first pinfall, but then he hit the skull crushing finale and won. Now, this is confusing me because what's going to happen with Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre or Sheamus and Drew McIntyre? What match are we planning on having at WrestleMania? I don't mind the Miz being champion like some people. Some people hate it, but I don't mind it. So, what match... Are they going to plan for WrestleMania? I don't see them see much storyline there. Like you could have John Morrison, but is it going to be like a triple threat match? At, uh, Fast Lane, Drew McIntyre versus The Miz versus Bobby Lashley, or Fatal Four Way even versus Sheamus. You could do it. I think it'd be fine. Then, whoever wins, the be at WrestleMania, fighting whoever else. Probably Goldberg. I just don't... <laughs> no. 
I just don't want to see Goldberg versus The Miz at Fastlane, and then John Morrison turns on The Miz, and, you know, just like the Kevin Owens Jericho situation in 2017 when Goldberg beat Kevin Owens at Fastlane for the title. I think that's exactly what's going to happen, to be honest. Anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about it. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys.